All right, now we are going to ask a few questions to the Google Assistant, which is on this phone on the right hand side. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which has got a Google's Gemini, which is a AI chatbot from Google. And this app may replace Google Assistant very soon. But before that happens, we should know how these two assistants work. So this video is going to be interesting. So keep watching the video. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in these beautiful looking wallpapers on the home screen you're seeing here, I have left a link for both of them in the description every video i post will have a brand new wallpaper so if you're interested check out all my previous videos to download some amazing looking wallpapers to make your home screen look beautiful now let's dive right into the video how is the weather it's 28 and partly cloudy today there will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 32 and a low of 22. now let's ask gemini the same question how is the weather It's 27 and partly cloudy. Today, there will be thunderstorms with a high of 32 and a low of 22. You see, the Google Assistant is a bit more responsive uh, compared to Gemini, at least for now. Of course, Gemini is still in the works, uh, whereas Google Assistant is able to respond uh, pretty quickly. Which is the tallest statue in the world? The Statue of Unity. According to Wikipedia, the Statue of Unity is the world's tallest statue at 182 meters. It rises 54 meters higher than the previous record holder, the Spring Temple Buddha in China's Henan province. Which is the tallest statue in the world? The tallest statue in the world is the Statue of Unity in India. It stands at an impressive 182 meters, 597 feet tall. Now here you see, uh, this is more detailed on Google Assistant, whereas on Gemini, uh, we've got a very short answer uh, and it is a precise answer which we were looking for. However, some people might find this answer on Assistant more interesting or more useful because this is a little more detailed with some comparison as well. Let's ask another similar question. Which is the largest country in the world? Russia, according to Y20 India, Russia, the world's largest country is Russia, with a total area of 17,098,246 square kilometers. It is roughly 45 times larger than Japan and makes up 13% of the planet. The nation extends halfway across the globe from its eastern border with Japan to Europe. It is reading out a summary from a particular website. Now let's try this on uh, the Gemini, which is the largest country in the world. largest country in the world by total area is Russia. It spans over 17 million square kilometers, 6.6 .6 million square miles, making up about 11% of the world's land mass. Now this is very precise and uh, I'm actually liking this particular answer compared to what Google Assistant is doing here, bringing up some information from a particular website, whereas Gemini is giving me what exactly I'm looking for in a better way. 100 plus 100. The answer is 200. 100 plus 100. Sure, the sum of 100 and 100 is 200. Now this Input, is... Output, output, 100 plus 100, 200. Now this is taking a bit of a time uh, to answer the question. For some reason, it processes my question, reaches to the server and gets back to us with the answer. It is definitely taking a few seconds here, whereas assistant is very quick to respond. 100 times 100? 100 times 100 is 10,000. You see, it's very quick. 100 times 100? Again, it's taking time. And sure. here is the answer. The product of 100 and 100 is 10,000. Input, output, 100 by 100, 10,000. What is the price of S24 Ultra in India? I found this on the web. So it is just showing me some results from the web. Now let's ask uh, Gemini. What is the price of S24 Ultra in India?
Here you go. The price of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra in India varies depending on the storage capacity. The 12 gigabytes RAM, 256 gigabytes model starts at 108. It is definitely giving me the answer that I'm looking for where the assistant is bringing up some web results. I again have to open the website and then check the price whereas Gemini is giving me the precise right away which is fantastic. Now let's try another interesting question. What are the specifications of S23 Ultra? Here is some information about Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra 5G. Up to 8GB RAM with RAM plus do more and switch apps faster. MTK P35 processor browse as you wish with increased efficiency. It is just talking some crap. Uh, it is not picking up the right information. Now let's try this on the Gemini. What are the specifications of S23 Ultra? The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra boasts a large 6.8-inch Quad HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X display with a 120Hz refresh rate for smooth visuals. It is powered by the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and comes with 8GB or 12GB of RAM along with 256 You see, this is definitely very advanced assistant and it gives us what we are looking for. Now you see it's a brief paragraph uh, wherein we have got all the information about the specifications of the S23 Ultra whereas on the assistant we are not getting what we want. Direct me to Brigade Road. Sure. It directly opens up the map to give me directions. Direct me to Brigade Road. You see on Gemini, Here's Brigade Road on Google Maps. it is giving me a screenshot of the maps and then if I want to open it on maps, I can just tap on this to go to maps here. Now it's more convenient on the Google Assistant because it will immediately open up the maps and it will immediately start the directions as well. I can just start driving uh, to reach the destination. Whereas on Gemini, it is not that convenient. Now this is something which maybe Google will fix in the future. Let's ask a similar question. How far is Brigade Road from here? If you drive, Brigade Road is 11.2 kilometers away. How far is Brigade Road from here? Brigade Road is 13.2 kilometers away and should take about 33 minutes to get to by car. See so the directions here. For some reason, this is taking a different route, uh, whereas uh, this is taking the, the assistant is taking the shortest route possible, uh, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure why it is happening, but uh, it is taking two different routes from my location. Search for best cafes around me. I found a few top rated places near you. Find best cafes around me. Sure, here are some cafes around you. Sam's Cafe with a 4.1 star rating on Google Maps. Happy Cafe with a 4. You see, it is giving me uh, kind of a summary of cafes around me. It is giving me in bullet points, uh, but this may not be that convenient because I'll have to search on Google Maps again. And I can't really see the images that I'm seeing here on the assistant. Here you can see it is showing me the location on top and uh, it is giving me the ratings and some images uh, which I can quickly uh, scroll through and check out how the place is before I finalize on visiting a particular cafe around me here. Now, uh, I would say it's more convenient on the Assistant, uh, whereas on the Gemini, perhaps Google will have to improve uh, the suggestions here. Next question. Play music on YouTube Music. Playing on YouTube Music. You see, it's instantly start playing the music here. We'll try it on Gemini. Play music on YouTube Music. can't use YouTube music yet, but here is some music on YouTube. Ultimate Disney playlist. 
this, uh, this is a shame, I would say, because this should work on a Gemini. It should be able to open the application, but for some reason, it is not opening YouTube Music or playing music on YouTube Music, which is really strange. But it is suggesting me some uh, music videos here, uh, which I don't really need. Now, let's move on. Set a reminder. What's the title? Buy groceries. Got it. Buy groceries. When do you want to be reminded? 8 a.m. today. Buy groceries. I can only create tasks for times in the future. When do you want to be reminded? 10 a.m. All right, I'll remind you today at 10 a.m. That's pretty cool. Let's try this on Gemini. Set a reminder. What's the title? Bring groceries. Got it. Bring grocery. When do you want to be reminded? Today at 8 a.m. Okay, bring grocery. I can only create tasks for times in the future. When do you want to be reminded? Today at 10 a.m. Okay, I'll remind you today at 10 a.m. It's good, but there is some lag uh, in this process here on uh, the Gemini. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it just uh, just stops. I can't continue the conversation. Whereas on Assistant, it is very, very seamless to set the reminders. Send a message to APPX. Do you want to use WhatsApp Messenger or SMS? WhatsApp? What's the message? Hey, how are you? Sending your message to APPX saying, hey, how are you? Cool, we've got the message right here, you see? Now let's try this on this. Send a message. Who do you want a message? You see, it is not giving me the application options. It is directly asking me to uh, send the message here to the contacts. Let me try that again. Send a message. Who do you want to? You see, it is just showing me some contact option here. Let me try this. Send a message on WhatsApp. I'm not seeing a WhatsApp number for that contact. No, it is not just working on the Gemini, which is not really good. Open calculator. Opening. Open calculator. Opening. It works fine. Open Play Store. Opening. Open Play Store. Opening. Yeah, it works seamlessly on both the devices. There is no issue. Start a timer for 10 seconds. Got it. 10 seconds. And that's starting now. Start a timer for 10 seconds. Okay. You see, it's running on both the devices. Now, our last couple of questions remaining. Summarize yesterday's emails. These are the top results. You see, it is not showing me any emails or not summarizing anything. Let's try this on Gemini. Summarize yesterday's emails. You see, it is summarizing Here's all the emails. Yesterday's emails. You received an email from HDFCMF about investing in gold and silver. You see, this is pretty cool. Uh, it reads all the emails from the inbox and uh, gives us these details. Of course, uh, the email uh, belongs to Google, so Google will have an access directly to the email and it will read out all these uh, uh, messages or emails and it will summarize all these mails to me. And of course, this is an advantage having a Gemini. Summarize my yesterday's messages. Sorry, I can't summarize on this device yet. Summarize my yesterday's messages. Here's a summary of yesterday's emails that I found in your... Again, email. it is uh, reading the emails. Uh, now, let me ask precisely. 
Summarize yesterday's messages inside a Samsung Messages application. Summarizing messages from Samsung Messages app is not supported on your device. You see, it is still not supported and uh, obviously it will not work on the assistant either. Write an email to my boss as I'm not keeping well and I would not be able to attend to work today. Opening Gmail. <laughs> it's opening Gmail. Uh, I will have to write this on my own. Now let's do this on uh, the uh, Gemini. Write an email to my boss as I'm not keeping well, I would not be working today. You see, instantly it will give me an Subject. email which is going to be very helpful. I can just press and hold on this to copy the text from here and I will be able to paste all the content from here uh, to the email and send it or I should be able to send the email from right here you see when I tap on this three dot button I can uh, export this particular email uh, to Gmail and start uh, drafting it or writing the email and sending it from uh, the Gmail itself or I can uh, export this as documents or I can create a public link which is fantastic. Let's go to the next question. How to prepare mango smoothie? Here are some results from the web. This is showing me the web results. Let's ask Gemini. How to prepare mango smoothie? Making a refreshing mango smoothie is quick and easy. Here's a basic recipe. Ingredients. One cup frozen mango chunk. You see, it's giving me the ingredients and then instructions this is just amazing and this is possible only on Gemini. Generate an image of cat riding a horse. Showing pictures that match. You see it will just show me the pictures whereas uh, the AI chatbot will generate an image. Let me ask the same question. Generate an image of cat riding a horse. You see it is generating some images here. It will take a few seconds for this particular uh, task. Sure, here is an image of a cat riding a horse. Here it is. We have got uh, the cat riding a horse, which looks pretty cool. And I can just tap on generate more to generate more images with the same input. So Gemini can generate the images. It is a generative AI, uh, which will help us doing this. Whereas Google Assistant would not be able to do such advanced uh, tasks as this is just an assistant, not, an, uh, not a generative AI. We will not be able to do tasks like generating images. Uh, we can't generate uh, the messages or emails. Uh, we cannot summarize the emails and there are some advanced tasks which uh, Google Assistant cannot do, uh, whereas uh, Gemini can do all that. However, Google Assistant is quite responsive in some of the important tasks that we do on the phone, uh, whereas uh, Gemini takes a few seconds to respond to some of the basic tasks, which is a bummer, but I'm sure this will get fixed in the future and this will be the most advanced assistant available on any phone right now, may it be uh, Apple or Android. I'm sure in the future this will get all the basic uh, work done uh, instantly on the phone and it will also help us do some advanced tasks, some uh, generative AI tasks, uh, which will be very, very useful. Now that's all I want to share with you guys. You guys let me know what do you think about these two uh, assistants, whether you prefer Google Assistant or Gemini. Drop a comment and let me know. And if you haven't downloaded Gemini yet, uh, you will uh, be able to download it once you get a notification on the Google Assistant application. Or maybe you can try Gemini on Play Store. Uh, if it is available in your region, you should be able to download it. I will try to leave a link in the description and uh, uh, we'll also be able to switch between Assistant and uh, Gemini. If you don't like Assistant, you can get back to Gemini. If you don't like Gemini, you can go back to Assistant. Depending on your preferences, you can do that. Uh, don't forget to drop a comment and let me know which one do you prefer. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this informational. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.